top of that, there are some other options within Safari. So since iOS 15, there's been a new option for the most part. I think it's with iOS 15, maybe even iOS 14, of pretty much giving us the ability of seeing a bunch of different things here. So we can have the ability of seeing our favorites, privacy report, reading list, frequently visited you know, sites, so many other things. If you want to go ahead and actually remove each individual portion, this is probably another option where I would probably recommend you doing that. It's going to make your iPhone a little bit less, you know, in your face in terms of the things that you go and visit on Safari. So as you can do here is you can go and click on the edit button right on the new Safari tab and you'll basically see a bunch of different things that come up. You'll see favorites, frequently visited, shared with you, privacy report. What I would recommend doing here is pretty much disabling every single one of these options you don't want enabled. Now this is in its you know core probably going to make it a little bit easier of a process of you saving as much data on your phone of not being showcased to everybody who whenever you open up your safari browser you can also go ahead and enable a background image if you want to i would always probably recommend doing that it's kind of cool but even if you don't want to so disabling these options is probably the best thing to do that way when you go ahead and actually get into your actual safari tab you can see a brand new page and it's not really going to be something that's all up in your face like that with all of your you know data and stuff that you've seen